Okay, this video I wanted to shoot is an overview of how I'm making this four core system all work. So here you see we're starting with our Lynx dongle and I just modified that to have an output for my four core to screw into. Now inside of here, uh, soldered to the positive and negative DMX leads in inside the dongle are my red and green wires from my four core. So I'm using the blue and the black to carry power, positive and negative 12 volt DC, and I'm using the red and the green to carry DMX signal. So you can see on the end of that dongle I just screwed on one of these little uh, four core extensions. So that cable runs down and at this point all we have in it is DMX data. We don't have any power. So that goes through an injector, I guess you could call it. Uh, it's really nothing more than a couple of pigtails, a male and a female. You can see the red and the green are continuous, so incoming and outgoing. And then I have my blue and my black screwed here onto my 12 volt power supply. So, and it doesn't matter which one of these you use, you can see I've got a PC supply back there too that I've used. Um, it's just a 12 volt power supply. So then on this lead coming out, we now have our DMX data from the red and the green as well as our 12 volt uh, DC power coming on our blue and our black. So that means now when we come into this extension, we have power and DMX data together on one wire. So this would be the wire that would run out uh, to the display. So here you can see I've got this plugged into one of the 27 channel controllers these two pigtails on the side here, this is my incoming and outgoing. So those come in and are soldered on the back of this board to supply both the 12 volt DC power and the DMX signal to the board. And I've got this uh, dip switch set to run the color cycle mode right now. Um, so you can see it's just clicking through, but we have just that one wire going in and out of the 27 channel controller supplying both power and data. So you can see it's cycling through, running through its deal there. Now I know what the capabilities of my power supply are and I know that what I have plugged into this controller is not exceeding that. So I can go ahead on my outgoing pigtail from this and I can run that down through another extension and then into one of the little seven dollar, six dollar, seven dollar DMX decoders. Um, I've just modified mine to have the same pigtails. I've got an incoming and outgoing on the decoder and then uh, on the supply side. So you can see this one's plugged into a rainbow flood. Um, again, all with the four core waterproof pigtails. So that one's just running through its color cycle right now. And then, again, I know I still have power left, so on the outgoing side I can go through another extension, through another decoder, and into one of my roof strings, or tree strings, one of the just straight RGB node strings. And then I can come out of that through another extension up into my strobe light. So it really doesn't matter what it is, you can see when you get uh, everything together uh, on the one wires, you can just kind of daisy chain right across your yard, plug into whatever you need. And uh, at any point in the loop, when I start running low on power, I'll just disconnect the feed and I'll input this basic setup again, just with another pigtail. So my data lines are continuous and I'll just re-inject additional power. Now in order to keep all that straight, you can see that the, the power lines themselves do not continue on. So I know then, whenever I add a power supply, exactly how many watts I have left because I'm not carrying anything over from the previous ones. Now that's maybe not the most efficient.